Oh no, my suspicions were correct. Danny Duncan is evil. Man, I, used to, uh, I, I like watch his like videos and I see he be like beating on his people. He basically be like beating them up and like pushing them around. And apparently this man makes $600,000 not a year, but a month, which I believe is, 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 is kind of hard to believe that he makes that much money off of like 6 million subscribers, I think it is, and like this man is like very, very edgy, but one of his like ex-employees finally came out. Which is, like, super sad because, like, his ex-employee was, like, a homeless person. And I used to always, like, see his videos and, like, yeah, he, he would get, like, beat up and they would treat him like shit. But I thought it was all, like, a bit, you know? Like, I thought, like, um, I thought maybe, like, uh, they talked about it before, like, all right, so we're going to, like, push you out of the car or something, and then uh, you're going to, like, be really pissed off, kick and scream, and then we're going to go ahead and then stop recording and then go back to normal. Like, that's how I thought that it would be, like, like normal production of, like, all right, you're going to be, like, the clown in this situation and we're going to beat you up and then we're going to make the video and then we're going to make money off of it. Like I thought it was like normal YouTube shit, but one of his ex-employees finally came out and it's very unfortunate that I had to unsubscribe from Danny Duncan. And honestly, I don't, I don't feel comfortable like watching his videos in the future I don't know, I might, I might not, but I mean, that really sucks to like, you know, like even me as a person, like looking up to a person who is becoming a millionaire out of YouTube, a person who is living the life of like, like, I think anybody will want that job of basically you're just getting paid to be yourself. It's like you look up to him and then like you hear these things that happened. Uh, uh. And the sad part is, is like, you know, that it's not like an allegation. It's like, you know, that he's not making it up because like Danny put the videos out there. I mean, he made this man sign a 10 year contract. I mean, that in itself is absolutely ridiculous. Like. I honestly, like, I know that for, for me personally, since I'm a good person, if it's a contract, it's going to be fair. But, like, obviously he didn't go over what's inside the contract other than he, he essentially can't collaborate with other people. He said that he had to unfollow, like, a whole bunch of other famous people on his social medias, which kind of makes sense, you know, like say like, oh yeah, we can't be, uh, supporting other people because we got to go get this money. But it's like, then he like went in deep with it. And I think his name on YouTube, the employee, his name is sun hat kid. I think it is. And like, I, it's like, Fuck, man, because I've been watching these videos, these hilarious videos for like years now. And like out of nowhere, like his employee just kind of disappeared. And now the employee finally came out with the with the abuse of like what he was going through. And this employee, like how I just said, he was homeless and then Danny Duncan comes along and says, hey, do you want to work for me and live in a mansion and go around and make fun videos? 
And it's like, how, like, there's literally no way that you could say no to that if you're homeless. And, like, he did, and, like, fuck, that really breaks my heart. That it's like, Danny Duncan is, like, he's freaking evil.